Um, just kind of the the, the storyline of them coming back, struggling against Ohio, uh, Iowa State, losing to Kansas. Uh, and if they had lost this one tonight and, and it looked like they were in major trouble, um, who knows what, what could have happened to their psyche. And, Stu, you could talk to that a little bit. Like, you talk about a team that's just got it going, that has this long pause. They're out for three weeks. They come back. They practice twice. Now, eight guys, this is something that I've reported here, eight players on Baylor got COVID in this last run. A lot. So eight guys. So you have the break. You have this this 19-day break where they didn't practice, plus eight guys are coming back from COVID, and everybody reacts differently. Yeah. So, you know, like Kansas fans are, are killing me when I say, like, that is not – Baylor the other night, it, you know, they were like five days removed from coming back. Now they're still not Baylor tonight. Like I, I still didn't think they were like the Baylor team that we have seen, but they are getting closer and closer and they needed this win for their psyche as much as anything else. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's momentum both ways. It happens to everybody. Everyone is susceptible to it, especially mm-hmm. 18 to 22 year old kids right. where it's like, you get on that stage, you get to the top. And when you, and especially when you reach success where you're like, all right, we got to the top. And then how do you maintain that success? Like that's what makes teams special. And that is why, you know, that's why Gonzaga gets number one seeds and then they lose. Like it is not easy. It is not easy to maintain success. So it is good that they got this win Uh, on the COVID point. Like I've heard a lot of players where, you know, everything seems normal and it's like legs are dead for a month and what are they going to complain? Like they're taught not to complain just to keep going. So it could affect them for a long time, especially eight guys. Like there's gotta be at least one or two that are going to have lingering effects some way or another. So it's going to be, yeah, just energy, you know, like, and again, you're losing your time and you're not able to practice and you're coming back. So it's, it's the combo. The, the other part of it is that when you're, when you're trapped in like a dorm room or hotel room and you got to quarantine, you got to do whatever, like, if you're if you're feeling well and you're you're at least healthy, then you could do things like just do 500 burpees, and at least then you're gonna like keep some kind of like right. fitness, some kind of win, and some kind of leg strength. But if you have COVID and you're just knocked out for even if it's like three or four days, that could really change the way that like the the your health. And I, I still, I, you played a higher level of sports than either of us. Like, is that my am, am I right in saying that? Like, yeah, definitely. I mean, anything helps. Again, they are like. 18 and 20 year old kids. So like my warm up back then was just, you know, the first <laughs> game of open gym. And now it's like, hold on guys, 20 minutes of all this routine. And so it's, it's obviously, obviously very different uh, for them. But like the thing with COVID is like, you maybe not even get sick and you feel fine. And like you work out and then it hits you where you're like, your legs are dead, your lungs are dead. So it's a very, it's a strange thing to maneuver where, we're probably not even going to get the truth about how those guys feel. Yeah. Goodman, the one thing I would have pushed back on you on, though, is that you said that you don't think this was the real Baylor. I, I thought it was. Um, I, and, still and look, yeah. West Virginia, I still don't. I still do the way back. They, they might not be all the way back, but that was that was the Baylor right there. That was them digging deep and making the plays at the end of the game that they needed to make. Yeah. West Virginia has a lot of dudes that can score. West Virginia is very difficult to match up with with the four guys that have shooting. They had Sean McNeil going. They had Miles McBride going. They had Taj Sherman going, right? When those three guys are going, like they are very yeah. tough to guard, especially when they got the big fella inside that's eating everybody up. So um, the fact that they were um, they were on the road against a team like this in overtime coming back down the stretch, to me, just like that that tells you everything you know need to know about this group. Maybe they're not uh, back to 100% yet, but – that that's what I mean, you need. Like 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 uh, uh, everyday John isn't back. He's not back. He's not playing the minutes. He was the last one to come back, right? So like he's definitely not back. I, I thought Matthew Meyer saved him tonight to some degree. I mean, some of the moves he, he made. I mean, he, he listen. I tweeted like he his upside is ridiculous. It is. It's now the hair. The hair's got to go. Like he, he he's, he's got to get rid of that mop top or whatever it is. But uh, uh-huh. it's bad, Stu. No, it's you great. Jealous? You jealous? I love every part of it. Oh yeah, it's like like buzz on the side a little bit. Like it's it's perfectly manicured. 
he he really does look like a guy that sh should be sitting in front of uh, deer antlers when he's on a live stream talking about that. Oh, he, he definitely <laughs> does. He's probably got like seven on his wall. Yeah, he's so <laughs> funny, man. Like I, I I talked to him last week for a while, and and uh, the big thing of him is like. Like he'll lose his phone a million times. Like he he's like the most like like immature in in a different way, right? Like his car is a disaster. Like my seventeen year old daughter, like the same you, thing. Did you hear his story about how he put on the weight this summer? Uh -uh. <laughs> he, he, told me. Yeah. he ate fast food three times a day. Yeah, they yeah, they said right. he wanted to put on twenty five pounds, so he ate like Whataburger three times a day, and he came back to campus, and his body fat percentage was like eighteen percent, and so he had. To, so he put on the weight, but then he had to turn all the weight into muscle. He said it was pretty awful trying to get like himself not looking like a fat slob. But I'll tell you what, someone with that hair, I'm not surprised that the way they put on weight was to eat fast food three times. I think that, 